What's up, everybody? Welcome to How to Trade a Bull Flag. So this is a very simple and basic explanation here with Apple. This is from Wednesday, March 23rd. A bull flag is basically a flagpole with a like flag. And then you're looking for the breakout of that flag to the upside. Okay, so this little yellow line there up is our pull. That red line is the top of our flag. And then the green line there is the bottom of our flag. So guys, just because this is a bullish momentum flag doesn't mean it's for sure always going to pop out to the upside and run for several dollars here as you could have gotten just above that 170.40 level there and it ran to 172.60. So over a $2 move from the break to the top, but it doesn't guarantee that. Okay, it's just a higher probability setup. So there's two places to get in on the bull flag. Okay, you can get in in the consolidation, the flag around the 9 EMA there, that light green kind of ribbon there in the middle of our 5 to 12 EMA cloud. Or you can get in at the bottom of the flag near the VWAP. Okay, but in this situation, that VWAP there is our white line. Okay, so if this flag came up, maybe it would start down here and then it would consolidate right into that VWAP. You could add there, but in this situation, it would have been smart to add either on that 9 EMA or on the bottom of our flag. I like to get in after the break of the flag and I like to look at the level two data and look for those bids to come in. So we broke on the five minute time frame there. We broke that red line. That's the top of our bull flag around that 170.40 area. So I was looking for bids to come in around 170.40, 170.50 and bid the, keep bidding that price up. So that's where I got in there, right around that 170.50 in these two candles with calls with my stop just below underneath here and we ended up ripping. So once you get the nice rip up, you're not just gonna hold these for oblivion. You do wanna scale out as we go. So scale out some in this candle, next green candle, scale some out, okay? And if you do wanna re-add, you can always add back in at the 90 EMA on that five minute candle if that momentum keeps going strong. With today, we ended up kind of fading out. We actually dropped pretty hard at the end of the day. Over, yeah, over $2 there from 172.60 all the way down there to 170.20. Okay, so over $2 drop, basically right where that flag break was. Okay, so scale out as you hit your winner, or you can simply just move your stop up as your calls increase in value. Say you got in, the calls were $80, now they're 110. You could have your stop be 90 or 100. So no matter what happens, you're gonna win on the trade. That's what I like to do. But I like to scale a few out and move my stop ups as I go. So say you have five contracts, scale one out, scale two out, scale three out, scale four out. Maybe you can hold one for a home run, have a stop loss underneath. And if it gets hit, it gets hit. If it doesn't get hit, you could hold them overnight, hold them for a big run, see what happens with that last call. But that's how you trade a breakout in super simple terms. I like to wait for that little flag break, that red line. Look for the level two data for bids and ride that puppy up for a win. If not, you have that small stop out and you're on to your next trade. That's going to be it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a like down below. It really helps out the channel. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. and hope you all have a great rest of your day. Peace.